Hi and welcome to this tutorial on thermodynamics. In this tutorial we're just going to have a look at systems. So a system is basically something that we want to look at. So if I just draw this blob, it's, a, it's got a boundary and around it is a, what we call the surroundings. So I'll just bring these up. So these are the surroundings and that's basically where we are. And the system itself is here. And the system is something that we're interested in, something we want to observe. The surroundings are the rest of the universe, if you will. We're not interested in that. But when we define the system, we need to talk about this boundary, this very, very important boundary. Because systems can either uh, be isolated, open or closed. And so let's have, let's have a quick look at that in a little bit more detail with some better diagrams. So these are... Uh, three types of systems. We've got an open system here, a closed system, and an isolated system. So we look at each one individually. In this open system here, so imagine this is um, just a, a cup of tea, if you will. So a cup of tea that's open um, to the rest of the universe. And heat can get into that um, cup of tea, and heat can get out of that cup of tea quite easily. Also matter, so imagine the cup of tea is giving off a little bit of steam. So matter can escape from the system, the system is actually open to the rest of the universe. There's no control of matter uh, going in or out. You know, dust particles or uh, more hot water or whatever can go in and out of that system. So that's called an open system. The next one along is called a closed system. Now in a closed system only heat can get in and out so only energy can transfer between the walls of this boundary now this boundary is like i said before is is a boundary between the rest of the universe and our system that we're interested in so um just to give it another uh, point if we heated something up uh, with a bunsen burner for example then um so we heated a cup of water up with bunsen burner then the bunsen burner itself is a system and the cup of water is a system. Now, what we're interested in at that moment in time uh, depends on us. So if we're, we're interested in the uh, water boiling, then that's our system. We're not bothered that uh, we're burning fuel in and the Bunsen burner. And we're not bothered about heat being lost by the Bunsen burner to the rest of the universe. We're just interested in the amount of heat that can get in from the Bunsen burner to our system. So it's, it's, it's very important when we uh, look at systems that we define the system well. So in a closed system, um, heat can only get in and out. Matter stays inside the system. So if it's a cup of water, then this is a closed system, but we can heat it up, uh, but the, the water molecules can't get out, if you will. So what happens in those type of systems, we put heat in, something's going to give. Um, either pressure increases or something like that. We'll go on to that in more detail later. An isolated system, um, heat can't get in, heat can't get out, uh, matter can't get in, matter can't get out. Basically, um, if anything happens inside that system now, so if we had a chemical reaction, for example, that um, had a chemical process, generated gas, then the pressure would build up inside that. And this kind of system, um, something like a bomb, if you will, you know, something like that, um, something uh, would give in the end... Um, to relieve that system or we'll have chemical changes or something like that. So in an isolated system, um, the bottom line really is that nothing can get in and nothing can get out. So um, just to recap, open systems, heat and matter can get in and out. So heat is just the uh, transfer of energy. We'll cover that uh, in another tutorial. Matter obviously is uh, uh, molecules and atoms and things like that. Heat can only get in in a closed system, matter can't get in or out. Isolated system, neither heat nor matter can get in or out. So that's uh, that's introduction to systems. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye now.